Hey there, my name is Chris Mitchell and I'm a managed services consultant at Proval Tech. Today I wanted to go over how you can track down where a ticket comes from. If it came from a monitor, maybe a script, a couple of tricks to help figure out where it came from. So let's get into it. Here we're going to hunt down where a ticket comes from. In this case, we're going to take a service ticket and couple of pointers to try to track down where it came from. A lot of the times if you haven't made changes to the alert settings on a monitor, the subject of a ticket pretty much matches what the monitor name is. So in this case Webroot Stale Agent is a built-in monitor to the Webroot plugin and it will come through and it's pretty easy to track down. Other pointers Generally, this right here is the ID of the monitor that created the ticket. So if you go to your monitors, put that ID in, you're going to come up with the Webroot Stale Agents. And if you open that monitor up and you go to the Alerting tab, you'll see the alert hasn't been set. But let's say someone overwrote this alert with a basic message. Any ticket that comes through is going to have this in the summary instead of the default alert message template. When that happens, you can't necessarily very easily find out what monitor that ticket came from. Here's a little trick. If you go in and you start a new monitor, and in this case, we're going to make it a raw SQL monitor. And then you're going to look for that ticket. So select from tickets where the ticket ID equals that ticket number that you're trying to hunt down where it came from. In this case, ticket 61051. When you do build and query on it, you're going to get all the t info from the table. This works in a hosted or a local environment. And if you scroll over, a lot of times you'll find monitor ID. If monitor ID is filled out, this monitor ID is the monitor that created the ticket. You'll have monitor IDs for internal monitors and you'll have monitor IDs for remote monitors. So that can help you track down what monitor created this ticket. If this is set to zero, most likely this ticket came from a script. So that'll kind of steer you in that direction to say, okay, I have to go look at what script this might be from um, and hunt down why this script made this ticket. So a couple of pointers. Raw SQL monitors can be very powerful as far as what, what you're querying in the database. So just be very careful with what you type into this box and make sure you don't save it. Thanks for watching. We post a new video each week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com and there's a link in the video and description below.